Hi guys, it's me, Vacuum Smith here, and today I have a versus on. Oh, come on, camera, unfreeze. A versus on a direct air vacuum and a a bypass vacuum. Otherwise, otherwise known as the Bissell Powerlifter Back Pet and the Bissell Nine Amp. To better understand what the Differences between direct air and bypass, in case you don't know what bypass means or what direct air means. Let me show you some very terrible diagrams, and hopefully they'll mean something. So here is the diagram for a bypass machine. Um, the, the impeller is different. It's metal, and it's got two discs instead of one, so debris doesn't get jammed in between each other. And it's it's a better shape for more airflow and suction and things like that. So, I, I didn't draw this very well. Normally you have a plastic container, either a bagless container, or in this case, it's a also a bagged vacuum. I'm a giant fan of bagged vacuums. Um, and it would seal around this part of the motor, and then it would have an outlet for, that the bag would attach to. So, the plastic container, well, splits in half to get access to the vacuum bag, obviously. Um, the motor sucks its air down here, and then this makes a seal. And the only place for new air to come out, I don't know if I can get it off, for new air to go in, is through here. So, So all of the all of the dirt and air going through gets filtered through the vacuum bag and then goes to this little piece right here that's clean and then goes to the pre-filter and then air goes to the motor and then it gets blow and then it gets shot out right around at the bottom base of the motor through the motor and things like that to cool down the motor to cool off the motor it works very well um and then it goes out the ex the the post motor filter and yes I know what you're thinking these don't have a post motor filter you just can't get to it there is a post motor filter see it in there this is off topic but yes you can get to the post motor filter you just kinda gotta reduce the vacuum to a smaller size to do it so here is a diagram of how a direct air vacuum works as you can see I have a direct air vacuum in the background for giggles and this is, yep, this is the right one. I know it looks terrible, but it's the best I could do. So, this is the impeller. It kind of looks like a comb that's got scribbles all over it, which is fine. Just pretend it's an impeller. This is the motor. This is the shaft that attaches to the belt and drives the pressure roll. This is the inner bag. And this is the outer bag, the part with the the zip. Um, so let's just talk about the diagram. So dirt and air comes in, goes through the tube, which in this case is um, this side, and hits the impeller and blends around and all sorts of crazy stuff happens trust me makes a lot of racket and bogs down the motor and then gets blast blown injected through here which is um, this tube right here all the dirt goes up here and then goes here which is there and then into the inner bag, all the debris sticks around in there. And as you can see, there's air collecting inside 
of the soft bag, and that's clean air. And then it exits out the last step of filtration, which is more of like a pre-filter. Not really a pre-filter, a last filter. It's just a place for the air to go out. And then it exhausts everywhere else. Well, it's on with the testing now. Now it's the direct air vacuum's turn. Now if we get down low, here's the direct air vacuum. And it has had some battle damage because this vacuum was not taken care of at all. <sighs> not for me. What I mean is that could inhibit its performance, so let's have a look. Well, it looks like it's done a very good job. I can't see anything in these carpet fibers. Mm, looks perfectly clean now. The bypass vacuum. It makes sense for this to do better because, well, it's direct air and it's got more airflow than this one. Oh, I don't see anything either. They both did a fantastic job. Bissell don't play when it comes to cleaning carpet. Uh, I don't see anything. This one's kind of tough. Very tough, indeed. Both of them left behind a lot of dust. I think it's like inside each carpet fiber, not down. Um, but, well, it's, the Dynamp looks like it did better than the Power Lifter, but a little bit, by just a little bit in the grid here, but it left more belt. And it left more belt because this vacuum, if you lean it over, the suck hole is all the way over there. The power lifter, well, I think, well, it ain't much better. But it's closer to the middle. Now it's the insane dust bunny fibrous dusty sawdust crap. I don't know. Um, it's just another test.
on that. Aside from the power lifter getting um, bit off more than it could chew, but that's my fault. Oh, I left behind a little bit, but God, that is a lot of stuff to pick up. For it being that good, both of them did great. So the conclusion is, is that bypass and direct air, it does depend on what vacuum, I guess. Um, both of them do fantastic, even though this is outdated. I personally don't think it's that badly outdated. It's only like a 90s vacuum. And you guys know the fashion of the channel, I have to show the bag. No, this is not a Style 2 bag. This is a Style 7 bag, but it does fit. Let's see, oh, it fit quite right. And that filled it up all the way. Well, bye guys, and see you next time.